take this lock cover right here, just use a screwdriver, like a straight blade screwdriver, slide that off. Take this cover off right here, just use a trim tool, get underneath here. Take that off. And there's a screw in here, use a seven millimeter socket. Take that one out. And just use a magnet. Take that one out. There's another screw underneath here. Use the same seven millimeter socket. And then just grab the door handle and slide it up. It doesn't pull out, just make sure it slides up. And then there's a connector right here. Take a pocket screwdriver. There's a little tab on the connector. You have to push in on the tab and slide it out. Just right there. Disconnect that. Set it aside. Now I'm going to take this uh, vapor barrier off. Before I do that, I'll just take the handle off so that I can pull it off a little more. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take this bolt out. <laughs> Disconnect this rod right here. Just slide this tab over. This retainer, slide it over. And you should be able to slide the rod out. And then the handle slides forward, slides out. And take the vapor barrier and just peel it off. If you have to, you can use a razor blade to cut some of this. Butyl tape. And you should be able to re stick it afterwards, or uh, you can add some more butyl tape. All right, so I pulled that off, set that aside. Now the speaker housing is going to be in the way, so I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket. Take those bolts out. <laughs> Slide the speaker up. And you can disconnect the speaker. Just push on that tab. Disconnect it. Set it aside. All right. Now I'm going to tape up the window. Use some masking tape. Now there's two nuts right here. And right here, you're going to loosen those up, use a 10 millimeter socket. So with this nuts loose, um, the glass was still stuck to the bracket. So if you just take a straight blade screwdriver, just be careful not to break the glass. And I'm going to go in between the two brackets just to break it free from the glass. There we go. So that's broken free from the glass. Slowly, I'm going to try to hold the glass from coming down. Put the window regulator down. You, don't, you only have to slide it down a little bit. You don't have to go too far. Now I turn the key off and now I can disconnect this switch again. And set that aside. Now disconnect this connector. Just use a straight blade screwdriver. Just get the wires out of the way. You pull this retainer off. And there's a bolt right here. Take this one out. 10 millimeter bolt. Then take this bolt out. these two nuts. All right, now we can grab the regulator, slide this part out. And just slide this part out. There it is.
this. Now take the new regulator and just slide it in, same way the old one came out. And just line these studs up and get these nuts started. And the bolt goes right there. And you can get this bracket lined up and get the bolt started. Okay, before we tighten these bolts up, the speaker actually goes right here. But before we do that, this bracket has these little tabs and you have to bend these tabs down and that's just gonna hold that position for when you go to tighten that up. So when you go to put the speaker in, then um, these are in the correct location. There we go, just bend it like that. Try to do the same with this one. and that'll hold right there. And this actually wasn't the right bolt for this one. Now we can put this bolt in here. And take your socket, tighten up the nuts and those two bolts. Just snug them up good. All right, I'll plug in the motor. All right, now I turn the key on and I'm gonna reconnect the switch and just raise the regulator. Now you might have to, you might have to loosen up these nuts that are on the regulator before you get the, uh, before you get this bracket up to the window. You just watch your fingers. Just see if you line it up with the window. And that's good. Go all the way up. Now I'll disconnect this. Disconnect the connector and shut the key off. Now I'll tighten these nuts up. can torque these nuts to 80 inch-pounds. Make sure you're on inch-pounds, not foot-pounds. It's good. It's good. Now we can take the speaker, plug it in, and put it in position. bolts lined up. And snug those down. At this point we can take the tape off. Now we can put the vapor barrier back on. Just slide this wiring harness in the proper hole. Just try to line it up how it came off. And then this, this rod's gonna go through here. And that's good. Right, there's these three tabs that need to go in those slots. Sure you get those positioned first, push it in and slide it. And before you slide it all the way, you can just get the rod lined up. And that's good. And you can lock the rod down.
get the bolt started and tighten the bolt up. And just snug it. That's good. All right, now take the door panel. You can connect the electrical connector for the window switch. Just line that up and lock it in place. Now slide the door panel over the handle first. Just push, make sure it's flat, and then you slide it down. Looks good. Just go all around. It looks good. Now take these two screws, and one goes right here. Get that lined up. And then there's another one that goes down here. Line that up. All right, take this cover. Now you want the red part towards the back or towards the outside of the door. And this little clip's gonna go in, just like that. Just make sure it works. Then take this cover, go over the handle and then slide the front part in first. And then slide this bottom part and then the top. 